What's up, it's Keith. We're on a landscape job, working my ass off right now. I would like to post videos of us actually working, but it's extremely windy and we're behind. But anyways, uh, this video I want to talk about losing money. If you're under quoting jobs and you're in anxiety and you're running around like a chicken with your head cut off and you maybe, maybe have caused a domino effect where uh, you're rushing through quotes and it's making you underquote jobs. And then when you get on the job, you're like, oh shit, you know, this $200 job I quoted is really an, an $800 job. And now you have to eat it. There's nothing that I've found, well, there's a lot of things you can find in anything that bring out <laughs> uh, your fears, your weaknesses, your insecurities, and your shortcomings. Like being a self employed or being in your own small business because you can't cry to anybody. You have to eat it. And if you do, the inner wuss comes out. And if it does, and you show that to a customer or something, or you show that to a spouse or to a coworker or to someone who works for you, uh, th then you're really gonna eat. So you, <laughs> you have to moment by moment stand in the face of every micro decision that you make and be completely accountable or you will suffer it out. And another thing is, suffering is unnecessary. You can not be even aware that you are choosing the path of suffering. We choose and pay the piper for everything that we do. Uh, I haven't made a lot of videos in the past few days because uh, I, I've been running on very, very little sleep. So therefore, the quality of my communication, <laughs> everything just down. And I've underquoted some jobs recently myself and just paying the piper. And it's the times when uh, you're going through hell is when you hear about other people who are doing so great and then it frustrates you more. But there's also times when you're just on your A game and you're smashing it and you're crushing it and you are you feel like you can't lose. You know what I mean right there? So it's like running behind the eight ball or being on top of it and, and just being fully, fully on your A game. But if you're getting, it's like, it's like a, a boat anchor and you're being towed and drugged through the mud and you have to suffer it out. And I believe that sometimes falling on your sword and, and standing in the face of your mistakes and standing in the face and owning up to them and <laughs> uh, 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 suffering it out and doing what's right no matter what is how you can like rectify uh, or you know what I'm saying your situation and be that become again the best that you can be sometimes I make videos like this and people will be like oh my god that's exactly what I'm going through and then someone else will comment this video sucks this is shit this is weird your cycle babble bullshit it's so funny man uh, even I get into these zones with the YouTube thing where I'm like, man, so many people are watching. How do you make a video? You just can't please everybody, dude. So I'll try to make all types of different videos. And I also don't uh, videotape on clients or customers' properties anymore that I don't have permission on. I went and got permission from all my clients. Some of them don't want it. We don't videotape on the property. Some are happy. They don't care. Great. You know? But yeah, we're uh, trimming up a whole property and right now, all the shrubs and trees and everything. And uh, it's a job that I underquoted big time. So if you're burning the candle at both ends, it could happen. Mm, 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 mm. If I could add one more thing, it is um, Joe Frazier said all those nights, the famous boxer. Uh, getting up at four o'clock in the morning and running and jogging and training and practicing and going through hell. Now you're being exposed on the under the bright white lights. See, we all have these ups and downs and things that we we go through. Where if you go out and you say expand a bigger landscape company or or you take on a bunch of risk or maybe you start popping out kids or you take on a mortgage, I don't know what it is. And you did it, and when you were in a really good time. Just because you were in a good time, you made that decision. Now you go down to a not-so-good time, and now you're underwater. That's one thing to be aware of. 
And another thing is, uh, don't make decisions when you're in an emotional state. Really take time to sit back and reflect and do things strategically that'll work on their own accord. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't pedal 100 miles per hour in first gear on a mountain bike and go nowhere. You're going to burn out. But people don't give you the other half of the story. Well, how do you get to the next gear so you don't burn out? And it really, really comes down to consciousness and being very uh, specific in... Those cars are loud. Knowing what you want out of life and being very clear in your purpose. All right, cool. I'm going back to work. Later.